Originally, the mill's wheel would have turned in the open air, but it was prone to freezing up in winter, so it was later enclosed in this lean-to extension. The mill was built into the side of the hill, and the weight of all that earth is threatening to push the building over, so the whole bank will need to be dug out. Just before Easter, the bad weather returns, and they're hit by the coldest spring for 50 years. The budget certainly isn't going to plan. In addition to the purchase price of £100,000, they've already spent around £250,000 on restoring the mill. You get your frustrating days where you've had really, really bad weather, and jobs can't get done. Despite being £125,000 over budget, the level of workmanship on this restoration hasn't been compromised. Today they're fitting the bespoke metal staircase, which will lead from the living room up to their bedroom. What used to be the old wheelhouse has been transformed into a spacious hall, with traditional lime wash on the walls. When they started this restoration, the mill was one big open space. It's now been divided up, and a bright, welcoming kitchen occupies the ground floor. The old mezzanine level has been refurbished, and is now a useful storage area. Standing on the exact spot where the inspection pit used to be, is the table made out of the old timbers. And the reconditioned steel workbench fits right in with its new role as a kitchen unit. From being a single space, the mill has now been split into three levels. I love the staircase. The stunning first floor living room is an open plan space, which allows you to appreciate the beauty of the original windows. Leading off the hall on the ground floor, there's a bright functional office. Above it on the first floor is an elegant and spacious guest bedroom. Outside, where a muddy bank once threatened to push the old mill over, there's an attractive terraced garden. The old brick water channel that was uncovered during the build has been turfed over with a lush green lawn that marks the path the water would have taken. It must be really difficult for someone like Alan, a professional building surveyor, to take on a project like this. Why? Because when you're seduced by such a beautiful but derelict building like this was, your heart begins to overrule your head. You fall in love with the building so much, you may as well throw the rule book out of the window. And that's why Alan and Dora went so massively over budget. Has it been worth it? Absolutely. Because without people like them, beautiful buildings like this wouldn't survive.